Strategy Management Series Video Number 93 Strategy Formulation Step 7 Strategy Evaluation Service Strategy Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management. In our previous sessions, we delved into strategy evaluation, the crucial seventh step of the strategy formulation process. This stage entails scrutinizing potential strategies for their impact, benefits, costs, and resource requirements. We introduced the Strategy Choice Cascade Framework to help the planning team create effective strategies, focusing on, where will we play? In this episode, we'll continue the discussion about defining the product to be offered, with a focus on services offerings. A service is any act or performance one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. Its production may or may not be tied to a physical product. Increasingly, manufacturers, distributors, and retailers are providing value-added services, or simply excellent customer service, to differentiate themselves. In the realm of offerings, Kotler and Keller, in their book Marketing Management, outlined five distinct categories that encompass both tangible goods and services. 1. Pure tangible goods, such as soap or toothpaste, devoid of accompanying services. 2. Tangible goods paired with services, exemplified by products like cars or computers, often accompanied by warranties or specialized customer service agreements, especially with technologically advanced items. 3. Hybrid offerings, like restaurant meals, blending equal parts goods and services, where patrons value both the food and its preparation. 4. Major services with minor goods and services in support, seen in offerings like air travel, where snacks and drinks accompany the primary service of transportation. 5. Pure services, primarily intangible, ranging from babysitting to psychotherapy. These distinctions prompt further considerations. Services are equipment-based, automated car washes, vending machines, or people-based, window washing, accounting services. People-based services vary by whether unskilled, skilled, or professional workers provide them. Service companies can choose among different processes to deliver their service. Restaurants offer cafeteria-style, fast food, buffet, and candlelight service formats. Some services need the client's presence. If the client must be present, the service provider must be considerate of his or her needs. Services may meet a personal need, personal services, or a business need, business services. Service providers typically develop different strategies for these markets. Service providers differ in their objectives, profit or non-profit, and ownership, private or public. These two characteristics, when crossed, produce four quite different types of organizations. Service strategies for each one of those types of organizations may vary significantly. This spectrum underscores the complexity of service offerings, prompting tailored strategies to address diverse needs and contexts. The strategic process of defining services offerings is very similar to the product strategy process discussed in our previous episode. It starts with the identification of the consumer's needs, wants and preferences that the service is intended to address. This involves conducting market research, analyzing customer insights, and segmenting the market to identify specific customer segments with distinct needs and characteristics. Once the target market is identified, the next step is to develop a service offering that meets or exceeds customer expectations. The following step involves differentiating the offering from competition. To do this, the planning team should carefully assess competitor services offerings, pinpoint market gaps, and identify areas where their service can excel. This includes analyzing competitors' strengths and weaknesses, customer feedback, and market positioning to uncover opportunities for differentiation. Service differentiation approaches are vital for service providers to stand out in competitive markets. Service differentiation involves distinguishing one's offerings from competitors through unique features, benefits, or experiences. Service providers can explore various avenues for differentiating their offerings, particularly through the enhancement of primary and secondary service features. 
The primary service package encompasses what customers expect from the service, while secondary service features are additional elements that enhance the overall experience. By innovating and introducing new features, service providers can captivate customers and maintain a competitive edge. In some cases, innovation may lead to the reinvention of entire service categories, satisfying previously unmet needs and desires. This continuous innovation not only keeps companies ahead of competitors but also opens up new opportunities for growth and expansion within the market. It is important to note that companies should invest in differentiating service features that are valued and appreciated by their target consumers, otherwise differentiation efforts may not lead to competitive benefits or market advantage. For that matter, deep knowledge of customers' needs and preferences is of utmost importance. Services strategy also encompasses decisions related to the offering design, development, and innovation. Companies must decide whether to develop new services, improve existing ones, or extend services portfolios to address changing market demands and stay ahead of competitors. Four distinctive service characteristics greatly affect the design of service offerings and their respective strategies. Intangibility, inseparability, variability, and perishability. Understanding these characteristics is essential for effectively designing and managing services. 1. Intangibility. Services are intangible, meaning they cannot be seen, touched, or felt before they are purchased. Unlike physical products, which customers can evaluate based on tangible attributes like size, color, or texture, services are experienced and evaluated during the delivery process. This intangibility makes it challenging for customers to assess the quality of services before purchase, emphasizing the importance of effective marketing communication and branding to convey value. 2. Inseparability. Services are often produced and consumed simultaneously, meaning that the service provider and the customer are present during the service delivery process. Unlike tangible products, which can be manufactured, stored, and transported separately from the customer, services require direct interaction between the provider and the customer. This inseparability creates opportunities for personalized service experiences but also increases the importance of employee training and customer relationship management. 3. Variability. Services are inherently variable due to differences in human performance and customer interactions. Even when standardized processes are in place, variations in employee behavior, customer preferences, and situational factors can influence the quality of service delivery. This variability poses challenges for service providers in maintaining consistency and meeting customer expectations. To address this, service organizations must focus on standardizing processes, implementing quality control measures, and empowering employees to deliver consistent service experiences. 4. Perishability. Services are perishable, meaning they cannot be stored or inventoried for future use. Unlike physical products, which can be produced in advance and stored until they are sold, services must be consumed at the time of delivery. This perishability creates challenges for service providers in managing demand fluctuations and maximizing resource utilization. To address this, service organizations may use strategies such as demand forecasting, capacity planning, and dynamic pricing to optimize resource allocation and revenue generation. By recognizing the unique nature of services and addressing the challenges and opportunities they present, companies can develop strategies to deliver exceptional service experiences that meet customer needs and drive business success. Another important aspect in defining service offering strategies is the service profit chain, a concept that highlights the link between employee satisfaction, customer satisfaction, and financial performance. According to this framework, satisfied and motivated employees lead to high-quality services and experiences. Service quality contributes to satisfied customers, which ultimately drive profitability and business success. Companies must prioritize employee training, empowerment, and engagement to deliver exceptional service experiences. By understanding and leveraging these interconnected relationships of service profit chain, organizations can create a virtuous cycle of success that drives long-term profitability and competitive advantage.
Service quality and customer satisfaction are other important aspects of a service offering strategy. Quality is a critical determinant of customer perceptions and loyalty, influencing repeat purchases and positive word-of-mouth referrals. Companies must consistently monitor and measure service quality, soliciting feedback from customers to identify areas for improvement and innovation. Service recovery plays an important role in managing customer complaints and dissatisfaction. Effective service recovery strategies can turn dissatisfied customers into loyal advocates, enhancing overall customer satisfaction and loyalty. Companies must empower frontline employees to resolve issues promptly and empathetically, restoring customer confidence and trust in the service provider. Another important aspect of services strategy is pricing, emphasizing the importance of value-based pricing and transparency. Unlike tangible products, services often involve complex pricing structures based on time, expertise, and perceived value. Companies must communicate the value proposition effectively, ensuring that customers understand the benefits they will receive in exchange for the price paid. Lastly, companies must define service delivery and distribution channels, highlighting the importance of convenience, accessibility, and flexibility. With the rise of digital technology, many service providers are embracing online platforms and mobile apps to enhance customer convenience and streamline service delivery. Companies must leverage technology to create seamless omni-channel experiences that meet customers' evolving expectations. And this concludes our episode about service strategy to help the planning team define the product offering for the strategy being evaluated. Please be sure to check our next episodes where we will continue the discussion of the strategy choice cascade framework, focusing on the introduction of new offerings in the market. Until then, keep strategizing. See you soon.